So I went to Walmart, as any good American does, and I found this. This is the Galaxy of Adventures Darth Vader. You may be thinking, oh, isn't that a figure from, what was it, 2019? Back when Rise of Skywalker came out? And you would be absolutely correct. But see, the thing is, yeah, it's a two-year-old figure, um, but they had it marked down from $10 to five dollars but not only that but they had a ton of them they had vader they had kylo the jet trooper han solo chewbacca i didn't care about han and chewie i already had the other two so i was like you know what let me pick up this vader i think you know the other figures I have in this line are pretty neat passed on the vader but uh now um i was like yeah for five bucks why not so i took it to the checkout it scanned for three <laughs> so i got this vader for Decent discount, like what, about 66% off, you know, pretty, about there, you know, about 60% off-ish, you know, 70, technically 70 if I'm actually doing the math properly like a decent human being, it's 70%, what are you, an idiot? But yeah, uh, was this figure worth $3? We'll find out, stay tuned guys, whoa! Answer, yeah, it is, it's actually pretty cool. So Galaxy of Adventures, it was that thing, um, I think they still might do it, I'm not sure. Uh, that series of shorts on YouTube of, like, really nice kind of anime-style Star Wars shorts. Uh, Hasbro, in their infinite wisdom, decided that kids don't want a proper Star Wars figure line anymore. They want things like this. So, Galaxy of Adventures was born in lieu of an actual toy line for Rise of Skywalker. Isn't that crazy? The last movie of the Skywalker saga didn't even really have its own dedicated toy line. That is, uh... That, sh that really tells you, that really tells you uh, about the toys, about the movies, tells you a lot. <laughs> but this figure, I gotta say, even though it is stylized, it's like a five inch scale. Here, let me bring in, um, bring in a couple comparisons. Here it is with my kind of kit bashed three and three quarter inch Captain Rex. And uh, do I have a six inch figure? I do. Uh, he fell off the shelf and I haven't put him back yet. The Black Series Clone Lieutenant. So you can see, uh, you know, he's a little shorter than a Black Series figure, but still, he's uh, really poseable and really playable, too. So I've always kind of had an icky thing about Hasbro's softer plastic. I've never really been the biggest fan. But see, this is very smooth and also very, very flexible. Um, it's not like that soft plastic that fights you, it's that soft plastic that works with you. That still makes for a very fun toy. Like, kids could have this cape billowing in the wind, the skirt gets perfectly out of the way for his legs. It's a very fun, nice feeling toy for three bucks. The lightsaber is nice and chunky, um, so I don't have any fear of that breaking or anything. It's very solid. Uh, the head. I love the design of the head. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Angry Birds Darth Vader, for whatever reason. Uh, but still, I really dig the uh, the stylized look of this head. Um, and also, it's very poseable, too, so that helps. Yeah, v pretty basic sculpt. I never got the toy box Vader, because uh, I just didn't feel like it. Uh, so honestly, this is a pretty good substitute for that for me. Um, I'm actually really happy with this. It does have a play feature, as a lot of these Galaxy of Adventures figures do. You turn his waist, and he flips. Honestly, another good reason for the cape, you know. The cape actually helps. And you can click the torso, so you can actually make it look more like a proper slash. Which, yeah, I'm sure kids might find that useful. It doesn't really get in the way of articulation. As you can see, you can just rotate his waist around. You just have to only do it in one direction. But, yeah, I mean, he's got a nice, like, double ball joint at the head, I think. Yeah, he's got a dumbbell joint at the head. A $10 kid's toy with a dumbbell joint. It's just so funny that they put all this articulation and effort into this animated stylized figure for 10 bucks at this scale. And you think, why can't they just do this uh, at three and three quarter inch and just make them Clone Wars style? Same price, smaller, maybe even less articulation, same price, people will scoop it up. But no, <laughs> that would be too good of an idea now, wouldn't it? Uh, you can see his shoulders, they move, he's got, he's got elbows. He just has swivels at the glove, but honestly, you don't really need anything more than that. He's got his chokey look. You can have him have the lightsaber in two hands. You know, he's, he's doing the stuff. You already saw his waist articulation. 
His legs move in and out. They're on ball joints, which is nice. They move very solidly. He's got knee joints, and he's got, guess what? Ankle joints move up and down, and he's got a rocker. He's got an ankle rocker. This is a $10 toy for kids. Well, technically, in my case, $3. So, yeah, I'm definitely a little late to this party. Um, but still, uh, me being late to the party saved me, like, 7 bucks. So, hey, that's a... That's a trip to McDonald's. <laughs> Hooray! I saved a trip to McDonald's. What will I get? Ooh, wow. I might get a bacon McDouble. Those are pretty good. And then I'll get diabetes. So, what do I think about this Vader? It's pretty great. Uh, I got the Kylo Ren one that came out, actually, because it was like one of the only non-Black Series toys of Rise of Skywalker Kylo, and I really like it. I, I really think this is a cool line. It's just such a shame that, for the most part, I think he also fell off the shelf, so I can show him, too. Uh, <laughs> it's just a shame that, like, figures as cool as the Clone Trooper here from the same line were made online exclusive because they just don't know how to keep a good thing going. <laughs> like, this this isn't the greatest thing, but, I mean, they could have kept it going. They, they could have. But, nah, I, I just I think Hasbro's just still really out of touch at the moment. And the fact that Walmart must have found a stockpile of these in their back room and clearanced them 70% off really demonstrates uh, not only the weird distribution issues, but also, you know, the state of the Star Wars toy collecting industry at the moment. It's not good. Um, I mean, when it comes to the, the figures we are getting, they are superb. Uh, especially in Vintage Collection, Black Series is starting to really slack. They're getting very bad with retools and repaints and slacking and exclusives. Black Series is really starting to struggle. Uh, TVC's doing good. There's just not many of them. Uh, but man, you used to walk into a toy aisle and you found stuff like this and Vintage Collection and Clone Wars and, you know, other stuff. Well, Saga Legends. And when Black Series started, it wasn't that bad, but it quickly has declined, and I feel like it just keeps getting worse and worse, or it's definitely at least not getting better. Um, I mean, sure, this is a cool, fun toy. It is. But Hasbro, they need to... They, they, it's, they really... I've made this comparison before. They're like that lost child that's, like, currently trying to find themselves. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm really feeling Galaxy of Adventures today. Oh, man, I'm feeling really Mission Fleet, you know? It, even though back in the day it was like, I am Clone Wars, I am Vintage Collection. They knew what they were all about. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a fun figure, man, but it definitely is representative of Hasbro's struggles with their identity crisis on what they're going to do with Star Wars at the moment, even though it is a two-year-old figure. So we already know how The Rise of Skywalker went as a movie and as a toy line. Uh, everyone has their own opinion on how it went, <laughs> but we can definitely say... The Rise of Skywalker toy launch was nothing compared to Revenge of the Sith. And with that, I shall let you go. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Special shout out to the patrons of Patreon. You guys are super awesome. Thank you all so much for the continued support. And alrighty, there we go. Thanks. Have a good night. Or day. Or evening. Or dawn. Or dusk. Or whatever. I'm just filming this past midnight, so I want to say have a good night. So, I mean, it will be night for you at some point. So have a good night, man. Don't let them bed bugs bite. They're actually pretty creepy. Have you looked at pictures of bed bugs? You don't want to look at pictures of bed bugs, except you're going to, so I'm sorry for that. <laughs>